Alibi versus Pitbull. Who is stronger? Dog is man's best friend, and that is for many reasons. Dogs serve as companions, yes, but they have also been protectors of humans for years and years, especially the big strong types. And there are some that come to mind. Let's throw some names out there. Pitbulls, alibis. These dogs are known for their size and power. But between an alibi and a pitbull, who is stronger? Now, we want to make it very clear, in no way, shape or form, do we support dog fighting. This video is purely informative and speculative. Exploring the similarities and differences between the two dog breeds, aiming to find out which is stronger. To repeat, we do not support dog fighting. So let's dive in and see what we uncover. Pitbulls. Starting with Pitbulls, they are one of the most common dog breeds, especially in the United States. And the Pitbull comes with a stigma already attached. People think of them as tough, strong and ferocious, Pitbulls stick out in people's minds as a great dog to protect its owner. Unfortunately, they also associate pitbulls with fighting, or with being violent or attacking other people or dogs. There are no inherently violent breeds of dogs. That just isn't a thing. However, many people have used pitbulls for these purposes. But that is partially because pitbulls are so strong. If they were cornered or if they needed to protect someone they loved, they are an absolutely powerful breed of dog. Pitbulls are known to have a muscular build just naturally. They are a somewhat larger breed of dog, but not too large that they sacrifice agility. Pitbulls tend to be 18 to 21 inches in height. They will usually weigh in between 35 to 60 pounds. Now, pitbull is a bit of a broad term used to encompass several different breeds of dogs, but this generally refers to the American Pitbull Terrier. It was in the 19th century that people in England bred Old English Terriers and Old English Bulldogs together to create what we know as the Pitbull today. They later arrived in America and became very popular. The reason these breeds were chosen was because the Terrier had a ready and willing gameness and the Bulldog had strength and athleticism. Thus, you have the Pitbull, something bred for battle, however, still not inherently violent. But if put into a fighting situation, a dog that can more than hold its own. They have a bite force of 240 to 330 pounds per square inch, and they've been known when they bite to just latch on. Those jaws are extremely difficult to pry open. Due to the pit bull's muscular structure and close to the ground body type, their bodies are built for sprinting. They aren't made for running long distances, no more than a few miles at a time for a pit bull, but they have excellent body types for short bursts and sprints. For their short distances, they can keep a pace of 25 to 30 miles per hour, and some have been clocked hitting speeds of around 40 miles per hour. That sounds like a formidable opponent. What do you think the other dog has to say about all that? Alibi. The opponent would be the Alibi, also known as Tibet, Chiponi, or the Central Asian Shepherd Dog. Per the name, they've been numerous in Central Asian countries like Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Turkmenistan. In Turkmenistan, the alibi is even considered a symbol of pride and national heritage. Unfortunately, in many of these areas, the alibi has been used often for dogfighting due to their size and power. But after the communist revolution, Russia wanted the best dog breeds for military dogs and guard dogs. The Soviet government wanted to bring in the best working dog breeds, and the Alibi was at the top of the list. They are still extremely popular in Russia. The Alibi is a thick and sturdy dog. They have low set and short necks. They have quite broad bodies, though everything is fairly proportionate. Their muscles don't necessarily bulge out, they are more flat. But believe us when we tell you, they are there. And interestingly enough, a lot of the way their body is constructed looks similar to the pit bull. That is, if we are talking about proportionally. Alibis are much larger. The males are a minimum of 28 inches tall. That's right, a minimum. And their weight, once again, a minimum of 110 pounds. They can potentially reach 200 pounds. These dogs are enormous, some of the biggest dogs you will come across, and with that size comes great strength. This includes the jaws. They have a bite force between 500 to 650 pounds per square inch. 
When you look at these measurements and details, it's no wonder that this shepherd dog has been used as a guard dog for goats and sheep of the Central Asian people for more than 5,000 years. The alibi is still used as a shepherd dog in present times, but it has become an excellent guard dog for people and their families as well. This is especially true with nomadic people whose homes and possessions are less secured and require more security. The alibi has been described as imperturbable, unable to be upset or excited. However, that is more under normal circumstances. If it needed to react to protecting its owner, it absolutely can. The alibi is also a curious and alert breed, which are excellent qualities when tasked with guarding things or people. When they run, it is described as more of a gallop, and an alibi has excellent stamina and endurance. They can trot for hours without getting tired. Though they aren't the fastest of dog breeds, they can run at speeds of about 20 to 23 miles per hour. So we painted a good picture of both the alibi and the pit bull. We're aware of how strong both these dog breeds are. Now, how do they stack up against one another? Alibi versus pit bull. At first glance, when you see these two stacked up against one another, it would appear the pit bull would have next to no chance. The alibi just towers over the pit bull and has an enormous size and weight advantage. We're comparing a pit bull that at maximum is about 21 inches tall to an alibi that is at maximum 28 inches tall. The pit bull is probably going to top out around 60 pounds, and even the smallest of male alibis are going to be 110 pounds, nearly twice the weight. And more likely, this alibi is going to be over 150 pounds. When you're comparing two strong dog breeds, two muscular dog breeds, the size difference is going to be a factor. And it isn't a slight size difference. The alibi will make a full-grown pit bull look like a puppy. Not to mention, when we get into comparing the bite force between the two, although pit bulls have that stigma as ferocious attackers, as deadly with their jaws, especially with the nature of how they latch on when biting, their bite force of 240 to 330 pounds per square inch is much less than the alibis at 500 to 650 pounds per square inch. The alibi just has advantage upon advantage. However, it isn't all about size and power. It is also about how you use those things. We detailed the types of dogs that these two are. Although the alibi is a giant dog breed, they are more about endurance. Their top speed isn't quite as high, and they are more about sustaining a trot for long periods of time. And they've been described as very calm dogs, though they jump into action if need be. One thing about the pit bull, it is always ready to jump into action. And when you think about that top speed that far exceeds that of the alibi, their short burst sprinting nature, they could very well get the jump on an alibi if need be. The alibi could outmuscle the pit bull. It could push the pit bull around, take it down, knock it to the ground, and don't forget about that bite force. These dogs didn't get jobs protecting people and herds of animals all across Central Asia for no good reason. But the pit bull has the distinct advantage of speed and quickness, and its best chance would be to try to get the drop on the alibi. There is something to be said about the agility of a pit bull that low-to-the-ground body type, their ability to navigate areas with forward movement, but also lateral movement. Once again, we don't condone dogfighting, and so that is something we don't want to see. But if a pit bull had to defend itself, it would have a chance to. The percentage is not particularly high, but if we are just talking about strength, if we are just talking about which breed is stronger, which is more powerful between the pit bull and the alibi, it goes to the alibi. There are large dogs that are not as strong. They have large bodies but aren't as muscular, and they are just not built to be strong individuals. But that is not the case with the alibi. It is a powerful animal. And though the punch packed within every ounce of the pit bull is extraordinary, when you combine the strength of the alibi and that incredible size it possesses, it is stronger. It could be considered the perfect blend of size and strength. If you wanted an animal to protect you, the alibi might be the best choice. It is bigger than a lot of animals that may be out there that you have to worry about. Hey, it may even be bigger than you. But we know for certain that it's stronger than a pit bull.